Hey everyone, day 36 of the Circuit Breaker and I'm back again with another video and today I want to talk a little bit about uh, something that I've always been very passionate about which is uh, PMDs and before we dive into uh, how effective the bands on PMD really is let's talk a little bit about um, Singapore banning chewing gum now if you are in your late 30s and above you will be aware of instances where we and I probably did I probably touched on this um, in some of my videos you will go to say for example take the MRT a bus ride or even to the cinema and when you and when you get out you realize you realize you have gum on your on your butt now this has happened to me multiple times all right when I was growing up and sometime in January of 1992, the Singapore government decided to ban the sale of chewing gum. Now, I applaud the government for that because it was a huge success, you know. Um, we never ever had to deal with uh, gum on our butts uh, on, the, on the government front, you know. I'm sure in terms of maintenance, they didn't have to deal with gum stuck inside, in between train doors. Uh, carpeted seats on buses, you know, they actually have to do maintenance, you know, gum on, on carpet is a nightmare. So yes, I would say that the ban on the sale of chewing gum was a huge success in that regard. Now moving on, five months ago, the government banned PMDs from the footpaths, you know, despite best efforts from everyone involved, uh, it was banned. Hey, but guess what? In recent times, there are zero reports, zero reports of pedestrians getting knocked into. All right. Uh, of course, there are still some errant um, e-scooters, e you know, using the footpaths and everything. Um, but yeah, zero reports. So can I say that the ban was a success? I would say it's as successful as the ban on chewing gum. Now, having said that, this is something that all of us collectively should take note of. Yeah, when we have a good thing, try, do try our best not to destroy it in future. Because if regulations step in, when regulations creep in, then, then it's kind of game over, right? Uh, all the fun <laughs> that we used to have on our e-scooters is gone, but uh, it is a huge success. And at least we know now that bands are actually very very effective especially if no one listens or even especially if no one bothers to listen and they abuse you know things like the e-scooters and and everything now it's not all doom and gloom right if you have an e-scooter if you have a pmd you can still use it on park connectors pcns and all that and i do foresee a push into pabs as well pedal assist bicycles so that could actually work out in your favor if you still want to go car light you know in our push towards a car light society i think uh, pedal assist bicycles will be the trend and what is even more exciting would be um electric conversion kits for your bromptons for your birdie for your mountain bikes so there are a couple of these uh, conversion kits in the market right now uh, one is called Swift, and that's spelled S-W-Y-F-T. They have very nifty looking conversion kits where you can, you know, the, the, the swap takes about 45 minutes to an hour. And I think it is um, a very, very effective way to convert whatever bicycles you have into a PAB if you do not want to invest the money. Um, I think sometime in the future, I would, I will be reviewing uh, more of such PABs. So if you're a PAB manufacturer, if you want to get into Singapore, I think it's probably the right time. And I am actually looking forward to that actually. More manufacturers coming into Singapore, uh, launching um, pers uh, pedal assist bicycles. In fact, if you want to go high end, they are crazy high end pedal assist bicycle things like uh, even in fact even Stealth they have the P7, but I think in terms of its weight class they do not qualify. In fact, there's another even higher end pedal assist bicycle and it's called the Tre Factor. Go check it out. T R E F E C T A Tre Factor P7. 
beautiful design. Uh, it's got, um, they even have this mode where you automatically pop a willy. You know, you don't even need to do a willy. You can just turn willy mode on and then you just be like cruising straight, popping a willy for, I don't know, for the entire length of your journey if you want. But anyway, um, I would be very, I'm actually quite excited about that happening in the coming months for the future, something to look forward to. This is a quick video and I think that uh, I should be uploading something every other day. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, do whatever. Uh, until next time, you guys stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye. So yeah, uh, that basically concludes the...